Looking for something fun to make with your kids this Father's Day? I have great recipes. It's a take on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a skein of butter stuffed French toast with macerated strawberries on top. Take the tops off of a pound of strawberries. The proper way to haul a strawberry is to insert the tip of the knife around the stem end and then in a circular motion just remove it and then pull it out and that removes any hard stuff that might be in the top. The lazy person's version is just cutting straight through the top. Depending on the day, I would do it either way. Once all your strawberries are hulled, then you just slice them up, I would say like about a quarter of an inch. My daughter Michaela, who just turned nine, could totally do this recipe herself, I think. Depends on how old they are. If your kid's too young, she probably don't want them using a knife. Strawberries in a bowl. You're gonna macerate them with just a little bit of sugar. Three tablespoons. If your strawberries are really sweet, use two. And if they're really, really sweet, add some lemon juice or a pinch of salt. Mix it up and then you just set that aside. The next thing that you wanna do is make your egg mixture. Every single French toast recipe has an egg mixture. Crack four eggs into a nine by 13 baking dish. Anything really will work that you can fit your bread into for soaking. I highly encourage you to let your children break eggs. And they shouldn't be afraid of it. It's actually really fun. It's not that hard. It does kind of make a mess when they break them, but eh, gotta let them live a little. Quarter cup of milk. Everything can just go right into the nine by 13. And this is stuff that the kids can totally help you with, right? One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Make sure they don't measure it over the egg mixture because if they spill, then there's gonna be like a half a cup of vanilla in there. Not delicious. Whisk it together. Kids can do this too. There's lots of stuff in this recipe that kids can do. We say it's good for Father's Day, but it's good for any weekend day when the kids wanna make you breakfast. Peanut butter the bread. Eight slices total, so you peanut butter four and then sandwich them together with four more. I have just regular white bread. You can completely use whole wheat bread if you're trying to be healthy. We are using natural peanut butter. Natural peanut butter gets very hard. It needs to be room temp or it will not spread nicely. It's about two tablespoons per slice, you know, give or take. A lot of recipes for a stuffed French toast require that you buy unsliced bread and then slice it yourself and then make a pocket in it. This is so much easier because you buy bread that's already sliced and then you just sandwich them together and then make them into the French toast. Once they're all sandwiched, then you just soak them in the egg mixture on both sides. Might be a tight-ish fit in this nine by 13, but I think we can do it. And then we can go to the stove, let's go to the stove. Take this over here with me. They're soaking. I'm gonna turn them over so that they can get nice and soaked on the other side too. You don't want them over soaked, but you do want the custard to soak in there a little bit because otherwise it's not really French toast. It's just egg on the outside of bread. I have a griddle preheating. If you don't have a griddle, you can use a skillet of any kind, cast iron, whatever. Medium, medium, high heat, and then some butter. And then the French toast should go right on. I'm not arranging them in a good way and I'm not fitting them all on even though I have a huge griddle. I did it! Then they just have to cook a few minutes per side just till they're golden brown. I've been patiently waiting. Let's see if they're ready. Yes, beautiful, perfect. At home I almost always burn them. Don't tell anyone. Isn't it funny when I say don't tell anyone when I'm standing here and I'm on a video and I'm telling everyone? It's just between us. Then just cook the other side. Finny, very exciting. So easy, right? Of course, you don't have to be a kid to make these. Golden and delicious and ready to serve. Family style. So pretty, I'm so happy. I'm gonna eat these. You can spoon some strawberries over the top and then just serve any additional on the side. Macerating them makes them nice and juicy. You can see that some juices come out, just so nice, makes them extra yummy. That's what the sugar does when it sits with the strawberries for a while. Spoon them over the top of your French toast. And then pièce de résistance, a little bit of confectioner sugar. Little tiny sieve, sift it over the top. Certainly not necessary, and the strawberries are sweet enough, but does make it look restaurant quality. And I think anybody would be happy to have these for Father's Day or any day of the year.